Hey guys, here's my steel KM130R weed trimmer. You can detach uh, attachments. I've got a, another attachment anyway. I'm doing a few different things. I did the pull string on it. This is broke. I pulled a string out of a hyper tough. And uh, that Canadian guy gives a couple of pointers on it. I'll tell you real fast. On this, make sure that this is pointed in the same direction as the plastic piece when you put that back together, when you take that off. And um, for string tension, a cool little trick is that you line the notch up. I've got this thing really tight. I mean, but what you do is you line this notch up to there and then you pull the string itself into the notch and then you wind it and then release tension and it'll pull it, it'll pull it back. And then I had to do it twice. I did it two revolutions and that string's real tight i mean tighter than it was before it broke so there's this uh, string and i lost this piece too that went flying across my shop but i went to steel dealer and they had one for 52 cents um that's a funky piece but it needs to point that way and you can see what it does here when you pull it it throws out see how it throws out like that if it doesn't throw out like that it, it it's not gonna work out too good and I tried putting it back together without that piece at all. And it actually cranked on one turn. And then after that, it wouldn't crank again. It would just kind of spin. I'd pull the string and the string would pull back, but it would it would just spin without that clip. So it's pretty necessary. And it's necessary for it to point that same direction. And it looks like it goes through it. It doesn't go through it. It goes around it. In his video, it looked like it went through it. Uh, it hugs this cylinder here, or the cylinder thing here with the washer underneath. Um, it doesn't go through a hole. It's It's got sides that it hugs. All right, so that's it for the string part. I'm doing the uh, bubble. The bubble's gotten so old. This line trimmer still works fine. Um, it's just I broke the string. Um, if I let off idle, it'll it'll die, but man, it's got good. It's got good torque and everything. So when I was taking the cover off, um, I got everything off except for this rubber piece and I've never done the spark plug. So I pulled it and when I pulled it, I pulled out the, uh, the, the metal thing there. The metal thing remained on top of the spark plug and I had to take pliers to get that thing off the end of the spark plug. And so how do you get it back in, right? Well, I had to pull it out and show you how to do it. And I'll show you how to put it back on, on this right here. You think, oh, oh no, I've just torn up the weed eater. Well, not so. You can see a hole right there. And uh, I hate to pull it back out. Anyway, but when it comes out, I'll pull it out. Let me set our phone down. One uno momento, amigos. I'll pull this thing out. All right. And here's what this guy looks like, okay? So maybe I can hold it like this. And I'll show you. I'll put it back in here. Oh, all right. Well, all right. Well, the phone fell and, and the camera shut off and all my good stuff didn't work out. Anyway, I shoved it back in and uh, you got to see the clip. Now I shoved it back in with needle nose and you just kind of work it to the shape of this thing um, with the hook part of it kind of going in first. Obviously the, the void female looking side of it. We'll later go over the male uh, end of the uh, spark plug for, for what we would call a cowgirl position. Correct? Okay. And the thing you need to know is that that, that hook is going to stab straight through that wire. Okay. So you didn't mess anything up, and, and I've done that before, and I've just given up and run off on it, but, but just put it back through that hook will be standing down. You shove this wire back in here. There'll be enough play in there where you can shove it in there and then just squeeze, squeeze it. And I use some pliers and I just squeeze it. And hopefully I squeezed it back through where the conductor is in the center, um, the center of this wire. And uh, I'll, I'll verify that with the spark plug when I take uh, the spark plug out and clean it. And uh, I'm going to swap this bubble out for um, found in my carburetor bucket a uh, hyper tough one that looked a little better than the one on the Troy built um, that thing doesn't want to focus worth nothing 
It just will not focus. Great. Anyway, so I'm doing that. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to clean the filter. And uh, here's the compressor. We'll clean the dirt right now. And uh, here we go. All right, well, I'll spray the filter out too. I'm probably soaking in some ether, starting fluid, kind of clean it up. Uh, the other thing is the spark arrester, that can cause problems after maybe another year or two. This, this weed eater is from 2014, I think, and uh, 2020, uh, 2023 right now, 22, 23 or 22. Man, I forget. I don't even know the day of the week. Anyway, the weed eater is about six, seven years old. I'm going to take this little screen out, and that's the spark arrester, and that'll help that muffler breathe better. I've had chainsaws that just kind of quit because of that, so I'll go on and do that to this one. Oh, it was a steel chainsaw that, that had that problem also. So I'll do that, and I'll clip to this all done and working, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Hoss, here we are, we're back. I got my new bubble on. I guess we're ready to start it here once I put the, I'll just start it without the oil filter. I'd used a uh, lacquer thinner on the oil filter. That was pretty nasty. I mean, air filter, not a oil filter. Uh, <laughs> obviously it's two cycle. Got a little bit of gas in there, so that's enough to start it, I hope. And um, let's go on and put that on. Then I took spark arrestor off. I took that screw out and it came right out it's just one screen right here but the needle is in it pulled right out and so now that's gone wonderful it can breathe better i guess we'll go ahead and put the filter back on here and uh there's our new bubble i guess we need to prime it probably and uh I'll put this on here there it is yeah is that a star bit looks like it here we go we'll just uh put that in there Excellent, that's in there. All right, so we got this going here. That's on. We'll go in and I think choke it. And, uh, okay, I don't know if we can see from here. Let's try to set up the, oh, try to set up the camera back here. A little thing right here. Oh boy, we can see it good there. Let's do it like that. Like that. Oops, there we go. Hey, here it is. YouTube fanatics for the Brent Johnson Station channel. That's the gasoline here. And I got no gas in it. I do a pretty good car off of the same way. I do again. And I got no gas in it. And I got no gas in it. <laughs> Alright. That's enough to play. Yeah, we should check it up here. Let's see if it. Where's my bubble later? The bubble is fucked up. I think, I think I turned that little square thing. And I think, guys, I might have messed up bigly. Uh, this thing ain't pumping no, ain't pumping no gas to prime it. What did I do wrong? What did I do? Oh, my goodness. What did I do? Do you need something? Do you want to do something? Do you want to do something? What happened? What kind of weird part here?
thing is running more powerfully, and it, and it ran on idle without me having to keep gassing it. It, it idles okay. It's a little high. I might turn the high, the high down, the high screw down just a hair. Um, Y'all want to see me do that, or you want to hang out for that? Y'all know how to do that. We'll just go ahead and make it there. All right. Thanks, fans. And please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Pretty close to being monetized. So, you know, I'll be having a party here in Kentucky, Franklin, Kentucky. And here in the shop, got a toilet over there. And uh, beer, drink beer, poop in the toilet. And uh, party for me for being monetized. Sounds good. Bye-bye.